On this episode, we visit Homo Moto Darwinist in his natural habitat, traffic. Oh no, the lady in the red car drops her sandwich, a mighty tragedy to behold. Being at the end of his long hellish journey, his patience wears thin. The red car doesn't move quick enough for his liking, and he toots his iron horse as a warning. Flustered, she waddles forward, letting the black car make her move. On, she goes dashing into life. Her place is secured, all while the white SUV blocks the flow of traffic. It's easier to turn at rim time. Red car leaves another gap for other opportunistic dickheads to fill as the line slowly creeps forward. Several seconds after the red light, the journey continues. A lorry attempting to make its way to the right lane, our little friend slows down, making room as he could easily become a meat crayon. The black van won't take such intimidation though, speeding up to block the heavy beast. The lorry makes its threat known and the black van sheepishly backs off. It's size that matters on the highways of America. Ready to be rear-ended, our feeble friend stays to the left, knowingly making himself hard to see for cars. Pros and cons in everything you do. Please match the speed of the lane you're merging into. illegal. Uh, it's absolutely oh, legal. Yeah, a perfectly fine pass, maybe even the greatest pass of all time. If it was illegal, they wouldn't have that space on the side, like our borders are wide open for the real illegals. Uh, taking your lanes in traffic, voting illegally uh, for lower speed limits, those are the real criminals. These cars break too hard anyways. Uh, he gets hit by rocks later. Some people are saying that he deserves it. Maybe they are right. Rocks fly at our stupid friend, injuring his chesticles. I think he deserves this after that last bit of fuckery. 